Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on this stupid blue thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys, the joys. No, we're going to be taking out the front subframe. It's a couple of bolts and some basic tools, but let's see if we can do it. Send it. <laughs> it's going to be a really simple job. I mean, all you really need is a couple jack stands, a piece of wood, as you see at the back there, um, a jack and some tools. I've got my socket set over here, a dog, and I'm gonna be, there's a 7 sixteenths, a half inch, another half inch, 14 mil, 13, 13 mil, and a 15 mil. So that's all you're really gonna need. But first things first, let's loosen the wheels, start jacking up the car, and then take the wheels off. Right, so next thing is we need to find a decent jacking point and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to jack the car up from the back of the subframe over here near the firewall because that is a little bit higher up so then we should get a bit more height on it and the car will go higher there if we'll be able to put underneath the jack stand so let's do that quickly. So now that we have the car raised and lifted um, off the ground the reason why the plank is there, or the piece of wood, is because on the mini, the basically the bottom of the car is where people jack it up usually is just so soft and weak that it just deforms. As you can see in my car over there and on this side over here, how, how much deformed it is from people jacking the car up and it's just not structurally rigid. So if you go closer to the tunnel, the tunnel, um, transmission tunnel if you want to call it that, <laughs> it's obviously it disperses and just makes the weight go in different places it's just essentially deflects the forces on the car so instead of putting it on one point it puts it on a whole bunch of them same thing is which is why it's a monocoque chassis because of it just how it disperses the forces but that's i'm not going to get into that that's too complicated <laughs> <laughs> now we can start unbolting things after we take the wheels off and then we have to disconnect the tie rods that come from the steering rack so let's do that quickly next thing we're going to take off is the tie rods which are located over here so let's have them quickly they connect to the steering rack and then obviously when you drop the subframe, you can't <laughs> do that. So here I'm going to use a 17 mil, um, normal, like normal people, um, because whoever designed this car wasn't a normal person back then. So 17 mil in normal, not bald eagles and those funny things. So let's grab this and get the extender which I left uh, right over here. Okay, here it is. And it's a nylock bolt, it looks like. Interesting, interesting. Next thing after disconnecting the tie rod over here that connects to your steering is to disconnect the shock from your hub, we your whole steering set up. 15 mil, one 15 mil this side, and 15 mil this side. So let's quickly get this off here. And there we go, just like that, it's off. So basically what we've done, taking off the tie rods, this one was a proper stubborn oak had to take out the big four pound tie rods disconnected the suspension from well the gas struts from the whole um front hub assembly same as on the other side now we're going to attack bolts that hold this up from in the front and on the rear over here and here so now that we're under the car we can see there's one and two bolts over here 
so this top one as far as I can see is a um, what is it 13 mil so it could be a half inch this bottom one over here is a 15 mil yeah there we go 15 mil so let's loosen these oaks and see what happens Have a slight feeling that they're connected <laughs> on the floorboard of the car. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this side quickly here. Other side, let's let's give it a bash. This side over here, the back here. Let's move you. It's gonna be the same here. Let's give it a bash. Yep, it's connected on underneath the car. So let's go cut out the carpets <laughs> and go find these bolts. So next thing's next, after we've taken out the four subframe bolts that hold on the bottom to the cab of the car, going to look into the bump in the front here. Um, there's one bolt here, another bolt on the other side. So for me, it's a 15, it seems to be a 15 mil over here. So you've got to grab it with a normal spanner like that. And then on the outside, what I'm going to do now is basically use my big F4 come loose ratchet and loosen this guy so see if I can do that I think it's a it's a 15 or 14 it's a okay so after we've gotten these two bolts out here one and two which was an absolute mission because this oak was so stubborn and I stripped it but it's fine I got it out I need to take off these four bolts here so I'm gonna undo these tabs these, these tabs that are usually pushed over these bolts take them off and then come back to it a bit of panel beating. I'm using my come loose bar, my F off come loose bar, as I say. Um, I've got these oaks loose. Now I need to get these guys loose here on the corners. Ah, that's always a good sign. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Let's go to that side. Now these are the only bolts that are holding the subframe in. So don't forget that when these come out, subframe is gonna drop. So my advice is to get someone or something to support the subframe just before you take them completely out. I'm gonna actually put it on a jack and jack it up and then see if I can't lower it. I've got my sketchy jack in place with my piece of wood. What I'm gonna do now is basically start loosening these things until I can get some help. Um, which I'm just gonna get just now. So, ooh, let's grab this 15 again here and just start loosening them a little bit more until I get some help. Okay, there isn't much holding it, but this jack and the car here. So I'm just gonna wait for some help before I take the rest of it out. So let's just give it a sec. So we've taken out the four bolts that hold on the top of the subframe. One, two, three, four. Um, I know in the later models, I have one bolt that goes through and connects to the top of the um, house, all the mounting over here. So now I'm just gonna drop it, take it out, and then we'll do a bit of analyzing. So there it is, one subframe out the mini. I mean, if I, <laughs> if I knew a few more things, it would have been a lot quicker, like the bolts over here, they go through the bottom of the car and into the cabin, and I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, now I do. <laughs> and just these bolts over here, pretty simple. That's literally the only thing that holds the top of the subframe to the car. But otherwise, not a bad job. Um, thing looks pretty decent, but I just wanna clean it up and repaint it. And then obviously the engine bay, clean everything up out in here and then repaint it too. But that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll check you guys on the flip side. And don't forget to send it. <laughs>